Throughout the history of golf, we've grown to expect our champions to share a common look, a similar pedigree, and achieve success through a gentlemanly pursuit. I don't think anybody starting the week expected John Daly to win the 1991 PGA Championship at Crooked Stick. He had, you know, this, this go get him attitude. He had the blonde, flowing, long kind of hair in the back. And, and uh, you know, he's just taking out drivers on holes that some players might have played a little bit more conservatively. Hold your ears, everybody. Here it goes. And just watching him. Look where he's hitting. We just had never seen anything like it. You know, everybody was scratching their heads, just blown away at his power. Daly was originally the ninth alternate, but as more players dropped out, he drove from his home in Memphis, arriving in Crooked Stick, Indiana, very late on Wednesday night, and with good news awaiting him. Got in about 2, two o'clock that morning to Homewood Suites, I think it was, and I saw that light blink, and I knew something good's got to be coming of it, and uh, boom, we just, we just did it. <laughs> An opening round 69 followed by a second round 67 got Daly into the lead and the golf world buzzing to explain how a tour rookie was rendering Pete Dye's difficult layout defenseless. That golf course suited my style of play. I was just flying all the trouble and the fairways were just wide open after that for me and it was a big advantage for me. He'd hit a ball and you'd see it take off and you'd never see it again. It was like, where that? I have no reference of where that ball went. Couldn't find it. The galleries couldn't find it. It was like, it, it hit it past everybody. And as his lead grew, so did the support for the humble, unknown 25-year-old. I had about, I guess you could say, 12 to 13 holes a day where chills just ran down my whole body. Every time I walked up on a green or a tee box, it, the fans are just super, and it's so great that they're behind me, and I, and I would love to win this thing for them. Before his final round, carrying a three-shot lead, Daly had even won encouragement from fellow competitors, including good luck wishes from the greatest of all time. Of course, the Sunday morning on the locker was Jack Nicklaus. Basically did say, go get him, Jack Nicklaus, and I still got that framed in my house. That was pretty cool. It, it just, it was just, everything just was perfect that whole week. It was like, it was a week that was just a big blur because it went by so fast. There is the man of the moment. I started the first hole on Thursday, let this, and I'm going to go just as hard here at the 72nd. And now listen, the applause won't stop. To me, it felt like there were 60, 70,000 people around that, that hole. I mean, lined up on 18, around the lake. I mean, it was just awesome. John Daly's name will join the rest of the golfing dignitaries on the Wanamaker Trophy. I did something that you dream of doing, but you just don't know if you could ever do it. The PGA Championship goes to John Daly. There's no question that John, you know, used the gallery and used the fans as, uh, as a motivator. They've been through thick and thin with me, but you know, they relate to me through all the ups and downs I've had. The city of Indianapolis just embraced me and, and I'll never forget it as long as I live. For all the ups and downs in the years following Crooked Stick, John will always have the week when he proved that sometimes a guy who looks like no other champion before could play like few who have come along since.